What's up, YouTube? It is your boy once again with another episode of Foolery. Ladies, my God, what is going on? How can you think you have it? How can you not think sometimes it's you? Let's just put it like that. You've gone through four baby daddies, four kids, four baby daddies, numerous relationships, and you still keep putting it on everybody else. But we're going to pinpoint it on, his, on this lady right here who thinks she got it all together with her four kids and four baby daddies. And she really don't. But it's going to get broken down to her. And let's get it. Don't forget, subscribe, right. like, and that share. That gets better. Okay, yep. Okay, now we good. All right, what's Hi. the name, baby? My name is Thea. Thea, where you calling me from, love? I'm in Atlanta right now on vacation, but I am from the Bronx. Oh, God. Are you, okay, so where do you live? So you live in the Bronx? I live, I live in the Bronx, New oh, York. Okay. And Thea, how old are you? I'm 36. 36? What you do for a living? I don't know how people be feeling on this show. <laughs> what? Uh, uh, so I'm a Scorpio. Okay. Okay, you're a Scorpio. What do you do for a living, honey? I am, I do hotel management. Okay. Do you have any children? Yes. This is where they're going to eat me up. I have four kids. <laughs> okay, four kids. How old are your kids? So I have an 18-year-old. I have an eight-year-old son, seven-year-old, and five. Okay. Are they all by the same man? Nope. I got four different baby <laughs> Okay, four men. <laughs> Have you ever been married? No. So how come? Okay, well, do you desire marriage? Yes, I do. Indeed. So, I definitely marry one day. So four men. Why didn't you marry any of the men that you had children with? <laughs> now, before she answered, we have seen this a million times when they ask these questions, especially they have multiple baby daddies. They always say the fathers are the worst of the worst. They have the uh, abusive, narcissists, deadbeats, you name it. But those are the people you procreated with. But just check it out. Watch. I mean, I, I guarantee you, is some of that mess going to come? I mean, it just didn't work out. Like, I um, I was young when I had my first child, of course. Um, she's 18. Um, I was dating somebody for seven years. Um, and that didn't work out either. I mean, he was kind of, um, I would say he was kind of like verbally abusive. Like, he, he was controlling, I should say. Okay. So he always had an issue. Um, then I have, yeah, like nothing worked out. Five-year-old, he basically was a deadbeat. Um, Five-year-old daughter, deadbeat. Um, yeah, like so it just didn't work out. Uh oh, I just said, Kendra said it. Hey, you chose the worst. You chose the worst to procreate with. So what man is coming? Who wants to come and father all these kids with these type baby fathers? I mean, let's be real. That's going to be a problem down the line for any man. I don't care what she says. One or two of those guys are going to show us, but let's be real. We know this. So I don't know who want this. I really don't. I would say I'll be trying. These men out here is I don't know. <laughs> I've been, I'll, I'll be dating, just not working out. So I guess it's right, me not choosing. <laughs> okay, let me see if I can see you. So we got Thea, Bronx, New York, 36, Scorpio, hotel manager, um, mom to four kids, by four men, um, and never married. What kind of man are you looking for now, honey? So, I mean, listen, I've been watching you for a while. I'm looking for... Somebody with no baby mama drama. What the? <laughs> you must be out your freaking mind. I need somebody girl, who's confident. Girl. 
Oh, girl. baby, my, my girl. baby's fucking Girl. Okay. Girl. Hey, no baby. Girl. girl. Now, now, Thea, now, now, Thea, I'm going to yes. whisper it. I'm going to whisper this because I don't want nobody else to hear it, okay? Just me and you. Okay, go ahead. You, you listening? You got Everybody four, go ahead. You got, you got four baby daddies. How you going to say you don't want somebody with baby mama drama or any man that dates you got to de gotta deal with four other men because you got four it baby daddies? It doesn't matter because I don't bring drama. I don't bring drama. When my baby fathers, we don't have drama. I basically am a single mom. I take care of my kids. There's no drama at all. If you like they get all serious with a man, I think that I, I think what women don't and, and men have shared this on the show. Shout out to mm -hmm. um Hala. I forget his name was I off uh, Hala, he's from New York. And if I can remember, I'm gonna put this the the highlight in. He said, whenever you deal with a woman, mm -hmm. you gotta deal with the child's father too. Now, would you date a woman with kids? Okay, listen. If you if you got one, if you got one, I, I could I could I could I could possibly deal with the one. But when you start getting into the 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 two threes and the fours, and you got multiple baby daddies and cousin, if if she, he said, I, I want I want you to meet somebody. She she got three kids, but she got three baby fathers. I said, do you understand that that's seven personalities? that I got to deal with? Break Because I'm not thinking about Break it. Break down seven personalities. Okay, seven personalities I got to deal with. I got the woman, her three kids, that's four. Okay. And I got to deal with the three baby daddies because if I'm, if I'm taking this woman serious, let's be real. I got to probably meet that, like, all the kids, the fathers come in, da 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 I got to deal with seven personalities. You got to get to know seven people. You got to build a connection with seven people. Oh, so, you know, if he's a respectable man, he got to deal with you, your four kids, and then the four men that come along with those kids. So let's just say one of your children gets into it with him. I'm going to call my real daddy. And now your real daddy got to jump in to the situation. So there might not be drama right now because there is not a man in that spot. But you have to be aware that any man that is serious about you, not just trying to have sex with you, but serious mm -hmm. about you, would have to, he would, he should want to desire a good relationship. And you never know how that's going to be. So are these men non-existent? Do your kids' fathers not participate? She got that right. She got all that right. The brother came on and said, Zach, you got all these personalities. That's four different personalities that we have to try to deal with. And you, we know what's going to go down. When that child starts getting a little bit of age, the first thing going to do is, I'm calling my daddy. I want to call my daddy. Whatever you can't do for this kid, I won't let this kid do, now she's going to complain to her dad, and guess who's going to jump on the phone and play superhero dad now? One of these four. Now, guess what he want to do? Stick his chest out and put the threats out. And if it's like me, that ain't going to go well. So now, here he come and I'm going to be waiting on his ass. That ain't going to be well. So that's what she's saying. Some of these dudes, you saying you don't have no problem because you hadn't put somebody else there permanent yet. You just date. They don't even know you probably dating half of these guys because they're not around. But let those kids get adjusted, and later on. You'll see. There ain't nothing but problems. Nothing but problems. And she talk like they all got issues. They're not consistent. They're not really consistent the way that I would say. Like, they will, they will have to go through me if they had an issue with any of my kids. That's one thing. Um, and the father will have to respect what I have to say first. And if somebody comes into my life, they have to basically respect what I have um, going on. Their fathers have to respect what I have going on. There's no drama at all. Okay, so you want to get married. Do you, would your future husband have the right to discipline your children? Yeah, like, yeah, of course. And okay, let's keep course, going. I, that's fine. Go ahead. <laughs> Things okay. will go through me, it's fine. What she said real quick, 
things would have to go through me first, but it's fine. So basically what she's saying is, before you do anything, you need to come talk to me. Before you do anything to my kids. Now let's put it at you on a work trip somewhere, and I'm at home with all these, all, let's say the other one's 18, so I ain't got to deal with that one, but the other three. And then they're showing their ass, breaking stuff, acting a fool, fighting, whatever. And I tell them to sit down, act right, and got to pop one of them. So do I need to call you first to tell you so you can call and then tell them to stop? That ain't going to happen. Because how is this man going to be leading this house if he has no authority in the house? You got four other kids, and you think he's going to be number five in that house? Or six, because it got to come after you? You think he'll be the sixth man? Nah, I don't think so. Then he would discipline them. Then he can't, then he can't discipline them, because you're going to discipline them. If they have to go through you? No, they can go through me, but they are allowed to discipline my child as well. But, you know, basically we can go through it together. You know, they can talk to me about it, but they can definitely discipline my child. That's fine. But it has to be like a serious committed relationship not nobody who i'm just dating and getting to know no i agree with that i mean i'm, I'm talking because you said you want to get married so if everything i'm asking i'm asking for a man that would be considered as a husband yeah they can discipline my child of course. okay i cut you off so i want you to start from the top what type of man you looking for so i did say no baby mama drama. I'm going to stick with that because that's what I want. <laughs> okay. Um, I want somebody with good hygiene. Um, basically, you know, they have to have good hygiene. I want to wear my bed. Um, somebody who's basically can express themselves, good communicator. Um, and of course, they got to accept that I'm a mom, mom first. <laughs> and yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, Big communi communication is big with me because I'm a real person and I expect somebody to be real with me as well. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm basically keeping 100 all the time. So they know exactly what time it is when they deal with me. For a little FYI, when y'all say y'all real and they know a type person because you a real person, that could mean anything. That can mean anything. That means you with the bullshit, you with the crap, you with the fighting, you with the tearing up some stuff, you with all, all of it. So be a little bit, little bit more specific when you explaining yourself. Because I, I don't understand. I wouldn't know what that means. Oh, I'm a real one. What, what else that means? Real what? You got to explain it. You're a grown up. Use your words. I'm just being honest. If you want a man to pay you some attention, you got to talk like that. I understand all this street stuff, but some guys ain't looking for that. They just not. Because they want to put you in front of somebody. So they ain't, they ain't looking for that. Oh, I, I'm assuming that you dated a man that and there was baby mama drama? Not necessarily. I'm just putting it out there that I don't want that. No. Oh, okay. I was I'm not a drama, man drama because if I see drama, I take myself away from it. Basically, okay. I'm not. No, I have not. Okay. Okay. Um, what are your deal breakers? So my, my deal breakers would be um, basically, like I said, somebody who's a deadbeat. Uh, you know, I'm, I want somebody um, a deal breaker as well. I try to remember stuff. Um, no abusive, of course, you know, verbally abusive men, um, somebody who can't communicate well. Um, another deal breaker, I don't like excessively like jealous men. Like, I already know I'm attractive <laughs> and I don't want somebody who's going to be upset with somebody trying to talk to me because I'm going to keep it 100. Like, like, I already know I'm attractive <laughs> and I don't want somebody who's going to be upset with somebody trying to talk to me because I'm going to keep it 100. Like, if I like you, I like you. And that's how I am. I'm a Scorpio. Like, I basically, if I like somebody, I basically trying to work and establish an exclusive relationship. So that's me. Okay. She says she knows she attracted. So when other men try to holler at her, do not be insecure. Has that happened before? Yeah, like, yeah, I don't like insecure men. That's just something that I'm not 
Yeah, I can't date insecure men. Um, I just want them to I be calm, calm no within them. Sorry, I don't, I don't know if you're still saying something. But I want them to be calm within themselves. Like, know that, you know, trust, be confident. Um, that's a big deal breaker if they're not able to do that. And okay. they're just goal-driven, you know, and ready to work on a family dynamic. Um, yeah. Crazy how after, let's see, our oldest is 18. After 18 years, four kids, now you want to, you want to put together this wholesome family. You got all the stuff intact now. But see what you done did, you need to, you should have done that before the four came. And I would give you a little credit if you even had you no know, the one child. And you decided after that, oh, I'm not having any more till I get married. Nope. Mm -mm. But you had four by four different men, and your youngest is five years old. It's a hard sell, man. That's all I can tell you. It's a hard sell for somebody to come in and take that and start with three young kids and the youngest is five. Um, so let me ask you this. Did you say that, uh, is there a past experience where you were dealing with a guy and then somebody else tried to hit on you and it was a whole situation? <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just putting what I want and what I don't want out there. Like okay. I don't like. Oh, okay. I thought it happened or something. No, okay. it's Fair not enough. a situation. I'm not a drama. I'm not a drama filled person. I stay away from drama. I'm very quick to be dismissive if somebody is drama. I don't have time for it. Yeah, I just don't have time. Like my focus, my main focus, and I'm gonna tell people this is my kids. Yes, I'm a mom of four. My my focus is my kids. I definitely involve. Like, I will always find time for somebody who I'm interested in. Like, right now, I'm on vacation. <laughs> like, you know, I find time to have me time. I'm a mom. And, you know, sometimes you need that me time. But then I'm big on my kids as well. So You know, I could be wrong on this, but I pretty much think that 18-year-old is probably the second parent in the house. She didn't say that girl was out of the house or moved, a girl or boy, out of the house or moved or anything. And she can just take off and go do stuff. I guarantee you that 18 year old is the one who keeps those kids. I bet you. Could be wrong, but we know how they go, right? Yep. Making your babies be the parent. Oh, I want to let people know that if I'm interested, I'll make it work. So that's never an issue. Okay. With me. okay. Does the guy have to look a certain way? <laughs> the guy definitely has to look a certain way. I definitely like somebody. I'm five seven, so I like I prefer somebody six feet and up, at least. At least. Were yeah. your children's dad over six feet? Yes. Yeah. That's what I. Okay. So. I, I mean, okay. I, I prefer black guys as well. Um, okay. I don't have a light skin, dark skin preference. I just need to have okay. good height and be confident. Good. Carry yourself well. Carry yourself well. All right, money. So you make a certain amount of money. Yes, I need to at least make eighty thousand dollars. I live in New York. Uh, like I used to be lenient with that and be like, you know, they don't have to. Make oh, your volume went out, honey. Your volume went out. Yes. Or more. I'm going to stand on that. Okay. She's standing on that. 80000 or more. So do you want him to be in New York? 80 k a year? Living in New York? Uh, she must be on government assistance or something. And she doesn't really know what it costs to live with five people, well, six counting the guy. Because that's what it'll be. You got four of your kids plus yourself and one uh, getting a place in New York and he makes 80000 You got to be, you, you don't understand that. He's going to need to make more than that. Definitely going to need to make more than that. 
So, yeah, she must be getting, because she don't realize now, you marry this man, you ain't getting that government assistance no more. All that's going away. You can get child support, but them stamps and all that stuff, when they put y'all two incomes together, nah, that might be a wrap. Um, I've traveled before, um, <laughs> but I prefer, I prefer them to be in New York. Okay. Do you get child support? That was one of the questions from the cousins. Yeah. Me too. Okay. All right, Thea, let's do the Kendra cam. Okay, let me see. So this is... I see this body, child. Okay. All right, we see that booty when you turn, girl. <laughs> so we got Thea, Bronx, New York, 36 Scorpio, hotel management, mom to four kids. Um, when was your last relationship? So my, my last relationship was literally, I stopped talking to somebody about two weeks ago. Are you, was y'all in a relationship? Yeah. See, this is the foolery right here that I always talk about. A grown woman four kids, just broke up with a man she said she was in a relationship with. Two weeks later, you're on the hunt for a new dude. Two weeks later. Sometimes you need time to figure your stuff out. You don't need to chase a man every five minutes. Your kids will notice this. You got an 18-year-old out there. So every time you turn around, mommy on a new guy, mommy dating a new dude, oh, they notice but if you got girls in there, you setting them up. That's all I can tell you, ladies. Kids do watch what you do. Why'd y'all break up two weeks ago? <sighs> it, it's a long story. Like, we was in a relationship for about 10 months. And um, we just felt, I just felt like I couldn't deal with him no more. Because um, we, I had a situation with my daughter, one of my kids, and I guess instead of him being an op communicating that maybe it was too much because I used to always travel to see him. Um, he lived in a, another part of New York, basically, and I would travel to see him. And then eventually, like I was restricted um, at the moment and could not go to travel to see him. And basically, he uh, he didn't tell me he wasn't okay with it. But he was just acting, started acting funny. Like, the true colors came out. So I was just like, no, nah, I can't. Like, there's certain things I would allow, certain things that I just So you guys were on this? No. no um, just a different borough, <laughs> I should say. Oh, okay. A different yeah. borough. Okay. Just a little travel, but just a different borough. So I wasn't really long distance. I, should, I want to say long distance. So, okay, two weeks is soon. Do you feel like you're ready to start dating? Or, well, was, or more so, is, or can that be repaired? Or is it over for real? No, it's over. Once, I'm, uh, once I realized, like I gave chances. It's not like I'm just like up and, up and left. It was basically, you know, I felt him out. You know, I went to go see him to make sure like this is what I wanted. And he was still acting funny. So I was just like, it was a really serious situation. So he should have been more understanding on my situation. So other than that, he, I was the one always making sure that we kept it going. So because he didn't, yeah, I'm not, I'm not broken from it. What she's saying, but when it comes down to it, it sounds like he just lost interest in her. Because if a dude really wants to be with you, he'll make time and he'll make effort. But maybe, maybe all the kids, everything was just too, too much for him. And he just, I'm nah, you know. And ladies, y'all got to understand when somebody show up and it's just like a floor full of kids, that shit is annoying, man. It's annoying. If they just kiss, it's, it's real annoying. Especially if you didn't grow up like that or you're just not used to it. It's, it's different. It really is. Yeah, that was it. I wasn't feeling Okay, so here's situation. what the cousins are saying. Now, this is a common thread I keep saying. They're saying, do you know how, like, they feel like two weeks, maybe you need to heal. No. And do you know how to be single? <laughs> no, they don't know me. That's why. I don't need to heal. Like, I'm already healed. All right? When I don't like something and it's not something that I could tolerate, I let go. 
I move on. There's some, you know, did you, I've you been, love this man? I cared for him. I did. Okay. Okay. For him for 10 months. When you how, took him 10 months. What's the longest, what's the longest you've ever been without a man? Um, I would say four and a half years. Oh, so I was dating four. So I got four and a half years to learn. Did you date a man at all? Correct. Yes. Okay. Right after my, <laughs> it was like okay. I was. Yeah. So, so you went, you went four and a half years without having sex. No, I was dating. I had yeah. Girl, I was you're not answering. You're not okay. What's the longest what you, you ain't date nobody? Uh, Four and a half years of being in a relationship. You said how long? No, I, I, I was okay, not. Okay, well, let me rephrase. I could ask the dating. question wrong. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. I was just dating. I wasn't in a relationship, like an exclusive relationship, I should say. I was okay. not in an exclusive relationship. Okay. Well, let me ask this question. What's the Cousin, longest you ever, what's the dating. longest you ever, can I, wait, hold on, Thea. I got to ask the question, okay? Sure. What, okay. What's the, the longest you ever been without a man period um without a man period um i would say like six months okay just what this lady is saying all right she finished out with she the longest she been away from a man like in a relationship or dating sexual whatever is six months that's it six months and you see, as soon as she got finished with two weeks, she was ready to find a new one. And you notice the age that she said her kids, like she had the 18-year-old, then she kept, took a while, and then the other ones was kind of like a good year and a half apart, almost two years apart. So she was falling for somebody and boom, pop, pop, pop a kid out, pop a kid out. I mean, she doesn't have a good track record. Let's just be real. I don't know, ladies. It just you've got to have a man. That's where she come up. I love um I love like a family that um like traditions and stuff like that. And I want to start a tradition eventually. You know, my daughter's 18, so she missed that kind of. I really want to start some a family dynamic where there's traditions and fun. Um, as far as like Thanksgiving, just having good events and stuff. So I wanna invite a guy to actually like if exclusive with them to be in that family dynamic. Just have fun. I bring fun to the table. I'm not a boring person. We have fun. Um, and just- Code for, I'm tired spending these holidays alone. I mean, yeah, you got your kids, but you know what I mean. You could have did this a long time ago, lady. A long time ago. Why you wait now? Your daughter's 18 and you didn't set no structure, boundaries like, no type of, like you said, events type thing going on. Not even Thanksgiving. How are y'all doing Thanksgiving? So y'all just go to somebody else's house and eat? Or y'all don't do sit around and eat? I mean, I don't know. You brought it up, but you talking about some traditional stuff. Why you hadn't already done that? You have four kids. I've, I've, I've talked to a guy from your show before, too. I won't release well, what, this, but what happened? I did <laughs> so I think um, it was cool. Like if I lived closer to him, because I was traveling, um, if I lived closer to him, then I would have probably like pursued some. That was a cool guy. It's just the only thing I would say is his communication was not the way that I wanted it to be. Like if he wasn't like an open book. You had to always pull stuff out of him, which I'm okay with. But it's just like to a certain extent. Like you have to communicate eventually. We're not, we're adults. We're not gonna so play that game. You guys were just talking. Did you ever meet in person? Yeah, we did. We met in person. Like four times. Did y'all sleep together? Do I have to disclose that? Well, by <laughs> yeah. not wanting to answer, you did. But wait a minute. Did. When did you I meet wanted, this guy? I wanted to share that because it's like, um, yeah, I just wanted to share that because well, okay. I've dated. And now I wanna know, give me the time frame. When did you meet him? Um I met him before I started talk, like a year ago. So what's the purpose of bringing this up all of a sudden? And then you say you dated the guy over a year ago, but you said you dated the other guy 10 months ago. You dated him for 10 months. 
So you was messing with both of them at the same time, or as soon as you and this dude kicked about two months, and then you met another guy, and and you don't see the pattern that it might just be you? It's like, why you can't keep a relationship? Like, every year or two, you going through a different dude. Because you just said you got out of a 10-month relationship. Correct. That was before my 10-month relationship. Okay. And it was like a year. A year ago. A year, a year, a year ago? ago? Mm-hmm. You don't want to, he was on the show? He was, he was on the show. And my what sister, city did he live in? she was on here, here as well. She's the one who told me about you, Kendra, and wanted me to go on. So she's seen his, she's seen his interview. And then she was like, you know, like you should talk to him, you know, cause he was a decent guy, but it just the distance and stuff. It kind of died down a little bit. Um, well, let me just jump. I'm gonna just uh, listen. I'm gonna say this. You reminded me because I probably been meaning to say this. A lot of men been getting vagina from the women on my show. Let's just call it what it is. Just gonna <laughs> tell y'all what it is. A lot of men been getting vagina from the women. And, and listen, y'all grown. Y'all grown folks. Do what you want to do. All I all I encourage you to do at all times is to be responsible for your grown ass action. Oh. Now I keep telling you, ladies. Stop having sex with men who won't be in relationships with you if that's what you want. Y'all don't want to listen to me. Y'all want to be wrong and giving out the vagina with no relationship, and then you want somebody to marry you and buy the vagina. No, no, no. no that's not. First, what, first what, what is it then? What no, is it? What is no, it? No. Listen, Kendra. Listen. I'm listening. First I got my ear. I'm listening. Let me, I'm going to move my lace front so I can hear it. Right. Tell me, tell me. I'm moving the lace so I can hear you good. What is it? trying to establish a relationship you're that's to... one thing and you're, yeah, so and you're basically you... wanting to be exclusive so... You want... so, so so you have a sex before you exclusive so you were... yes i did you're even in a relationship so how are you gonna get too exclusive you have a sex he ain't even he ain't y'all ain't even boyfriend so what's what's going on so on. I, i'm listening keep, keep going i'm listening you're dating kendra so people don't date and have sex if you wanna, you wanna be a wife. You wanna keep having okay. kids by men who don't wanna be with you. Eventually. Huh? You wanna eventually? Well, how about have have a wife standard at the door and be okay with walking away from any man who is not willing to be in a relationship with you. Ladies, get this through your. It is a fair, natural requirement to say I only have sex with men I'm in relationships with. Men would respect that. Okay, you're not asking for a lot to say. Hey, I don't care what you do. I'm not the mother girls. But in order to get this vagina, it's me and you. Do you agree? You don't agree? Well, we can do coffee dates if my time is available. My time might not be available because I might be with my men. So it is a very understandable requirement to say to a man, I only have sex with men I'm in relationships with. And I think you should learn that if you want to be a wife. Think about it. I'm not trying to listen. I'm not trying to diss you. No, 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 I'm, I'm not, not trying to diss you, but your track record ain't. Your track record is your track record, honey. I'm going to keep it real with you. Now, you you gave, uh, having a child is the highest honor. It really is. It's the highest honor. There's nothing, there's nothing more a woman can do for a man than to bring life into this world. Point blank, period. And that is the fastest way to get your ring, to get your wife. Now, life happens. But you gave the highest honor to four men who you describe not even the best men. So now you want a new guy to come along and to marry you. You know, you have four kids. You don't you don't want to get the guy that you're gonna marry, you don't want to have a kid by him because you say you don't want to have any more kids. Then you we also just learned you met a guy from my show who you had sex with and wasn't in a relationship with. Why would a man buy this as in marry you? Why would he do that? Why, why would it make sense? Thank you. Thank you for finally... Oh, man, somebody finally said it. Thank you. Now, she took a little bit from KS on this one. It's about the highest thing. Yes, you give a man the highest honor there is, and that's a child. And some of y'all are so just free with giving that away to any type of dude on the street. So when you get a little older now, you're like, oh, okay. Like her, I don't have four kids by four bums. I need a good dude to come through and uh, help me raise these kids and take me on and do all this stuff. Oh, by the way, I'm still sleeping with dudes uh, 
that just come through, you ain't learn nothing. Nobody, like she said, who wants to buy that? But I'm glad she said this because I hope old girl and everybody else listened to her. That's the first time I was like, okay, I'm going to get Kendra credit on this one. She did say what she had to say. So we will definitely have to um, have to get to know each other first. And it doesn't always have to be sex. You are right. I don't always date and have sex with men. But like I said, if I'm physically um, sexually attracted to you, sometimes that does transpire. But at the same time... Well, you need, um, you need, yeah. you need to figure out a way to, to calm that part down right there if you want to get into a relationship. Like, I know... And that's what our women say. They got these sexual desires. I know no. we saw Mia Coppola no, with, with Kelly Rowland. I know y'all want to give it up to the men. Keep giving it up. I mean, this is why men don't want to settle down, though, because they know if they look good and they get your sexual attraction, you're going to give them sex. So why am I going to... I already got what I wanted. I know you want to have sex with me. So keep, keep, keep not knowing how to control your urges from these men because you're sexually attracted to them. I'm not listening. I want to know well, the question. <laughs> encourage all women to do and this is what I, I've done for in my life and I try to give and I'm always giving y'all advice from wives husbands and the men y'all describe and men marry things that are exclusive like if a man marries you it's usually because he feels you are exclusive to him in some manner right and you already I mean you have four children that's one thing but you also yeah. do not want to have any more children so he's not going to have a child with you because it's not your desire then you also said it doesn't happen all the time but there are men who you were sexually attracted to who you were not in a relationship with that you were willing to have sex with so mm -hmm. a logical man would say well why i don't have to marry her if i have certain things if i'm attractive if i have money or whatever the case may be because you have decided in the past those men didn't have to be your husband in order to get a lot of things you should have gave to your husband. So I understand what you're saying. I think what's happening is a lot of women should start talking to wives more and husbands more. I need to start talking to wives more and husbands more and ask men what made your wife so special. A lot of wives I know never had BBLs. You know, they are there. Some, some thin, some small, some regular, they're natural women. And you know, you should just start talking to husbands and say, what was it about your wife that made you marry her? And I think it will give a lot of women insight on the men who marry and why they marry. Don't let's forget, y'all always say, could Dre marry? That's fine, that's fine. I receive that. I'm telling you what husbands have told me and you can find <laughs> out for yourself. I say, just... talk to husbands so y'all can start getting educated on what makes a man marry a woman. You know, I let it run right here so I Kendrick can tell this girl what she need to be told. And if anybody got some sense, y'all listen to what she said because it's true. Well, God, that's all I got on this. Hope y'all enjoyed it. Ladies, hope y'all got something out of it. I don't know. But it is your boy, Mr. Nobody, and I'm up out of here. Y'all know what to do. Y'all stay vibing, and I'm up out of here. Peace. <laughs>